What's up, everybody? It's my favorite time of the year once again, and I thought I'd take a quick break from my usual video footage type stuff to do a little bit of a uh, rant or a little bit of a chat over the Mr. Olympia that's coming up in just over a month, 7th of October. It's all happening. It's the Olympia weekend. And we're gonna have a quick look at last year's top 10 just to see who competed, who's gonna be there this year, and who's not. First of all, we gotta talk about last year's number nine, Dexter Jackson. May he have a nice retirement sitting on the sidelines he'll probably be there watching he has competed for a very long time and he's always brought his best tip-top condition to the stage he's one of the guys that i truly admire for being as cut and as aesthetic as he is even into his 50s uh, but he's retired now so he is going to be missing from last year's top 10 in this year's competition and we still have the rest of last year's top 10 in the running this year. So this is the guy that everybody's trying to beat this year. The reigning Mr. Olympia, Big Ramy, the man from Egypt, the beast. He's going to be bringing out his best package, no doubt, this year. And it's going to be a sight to behold when we do see him on stage standing next to everybody else. He is one of the best I've ever seen. When he comes in great condition like he did last year, he is unstoppable. So it's gonna be pretty interesting to see whether or not he brings that same package in, or is he gonna come in slightly uh, smaller, more lean? I don't know if you can get leaner than how he was last year. If you saw his legs last year, when he did his side chest pose, man, that was incredible. Absolutely amazing. But there is also one person that we must never forget and that is the seven time Mr. Olympia, Phil Heath. He's one of the best. Obviously, he's got seven trophies to prove it. And this year, he says that he's fixed his gut problem. Let's see if that happens. We all know he's had a hernia, uh, which has kind of messed up his uh, abdominal region. Aesthetically, it hasn't been too pleasing. But if he has fixed it and he brings it down a lot slimmer than it used to be, definitely he's going to be one of the best appearances from him, no doubt. He's going to be bringing out those crazy 3D muscles like he always has. His back has always been impeccable. But will he be able to keep that belly in line? We will find out in about a month's time. And let's not forget that last year, Brandon Curry, who was the winner of the Mr. Olympia, will be there as well. He's probably one of the best looking bodybuilders I've seen in a long time. He is crazy aesthetic. He's got full muscle bellies. He reminds me of Phil Heath. He's got the same big round muscles that Phil does. Um, and he's just got a little bit of a difference to him. And like Phil, Phil's got the back, no doubt. But Brandon Curry is definitely one of those people to look out for. But let's not forget that last year, Brandon Curry competed without Big Ramy being there. Big Ramy was out with a shoulder injury. So he took that title uh, without beating uh, Big Ramy. So it will be interesting to see. We've got three Mr. Olympias competing uh, and they're all in the top three uh, from last year. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. And of course, let's not forget that there is that rumor that Kai Green is going to be showing up on the Olympia stage. If that does happen, then that could change this whole thing around. We don't know what he's been doing over the last seven years that he hasn't competed the Olympia. He has competed in other competitions, of course, but uh, he has been doing his own thing too. And yet he's still staying in competition shape, which is absolutely amazing. Kai Green is one of those guys that everybody loved. His persona, his presence on stage. He had all the charisma that was needed to win the trophy, but he never did. He was always second to Phil Heath. But time has passed. Everybody's getting older. Things have changed. Muscles get bigger. Uh, people get injured. Things happen. So let's see what happens this year. It's going to be a really interesting one. What do you guys think? Do you think Kai's going to come back and shake up this whole game? Or do you think that there's going to be a new Mr. Olympia? Who's going to beat Rami? Who's the man to take that trophy? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. To see more content like this, hit the like button so that I know that you're interested. 
And let's wait and see what happens. The game is about to change or will it stay the same? Here we go, Mr. Olympia 2021.